it is a beautiful bridge. Now we are at the bridge which triggered the First World War. And on the other side of the bridge, there is a museum. Here's the museum. And I want to go in to get as much information as possible. From this spot here, from this place where the car is, from this place here, on this spot, Gavrilo Principal was a member of the Young Bosnia organization, killed. Franz Ferdinand and his wife Sofia in the corner of the street on 28th of June 1914. Bang, bang. This was the trigger, the spark of the First World War. There is a sign right there behind, but when the guests leave, we will see that. So uh, one month after the killing of the Franz Ferdinand and his wife Sofia, the Austro-Hungarian Empire declared war to Serbia. Why it's Serbia? Because Serbia had an organization called Black Hand, which was working with the young Bosnian organization in this country. The main objective is or was, they were hoping that Austro-Hungarian Empire will leave this area and the Bosnian will join to the Kingdom of Serbia. So remember, this was the trigger, the spark of the First World War. This was not the main reason. The main reason was the colonies. This place just speeds things up a little bit of the First World War. So one month after this, the First World War started, 50 million people died, 22 million were injured, four empires collapsed, disappeared, Russian, Ottoman, German and Austro-Hungarian Empire are gone. Communism and socialism as regimes were established on this place. So now we can go here. My friends on English language, so it happened right here, from this place, how do I know the place, the, because the footsteps of the assassin were right here, and they showed those footsteps. They made the new footsteps and put inside this museum. And on the trial to the members, because he was 19 years old when he committed the crime, they could not convict him to the death sentence. They say, you are not 21. We cannot kill you. He, is, he was underage. Okay. So that's why he received, this is him in the middle right here. So he received uh, 20 years of prison of the punishment, where he spent the punishment in Czech Republic in Terezin Castle where he died in check cell number one from the disease called tuberculosis, TB, four years after conviction. After that, his body was returned to Sarajevo and he's buried with the rest of the members of the Young Bosnian organization in the old Orthodox cemetery in Olympic part of the city. For some people, he's a hero. For some people, he's a terrorist guy. It depends who you ask. Original sign during the occupation of the Nazis was taken to Hitler as a birthday gift. The Nazis took the original sign, cut it off, and gave it to Hitler. You want to see the picture? Yeah. I have a this is original marking, my friends. Original sign was taken to Hitler as a birthday gift. This picture I took from some book. Yes, of course, everyone will have opportunity to see this. Mohamed, well, you want to see? The assassination happened because uh, Austria wanted to uh, get was uh, Bosnia Herzegovina uh, 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 yeah. as a part of uh, Austro-Hungarian, and the Serbia wanted to take it uh, back. To itself. Yes, back. yes. So actually, why he is in a Bosnian cemetery? Okay, he is buried in the old Orthodox cemetery. Orthodox. In the Olympic part of the city, uh -huh. in one chapel, with many members of the Young Bosnian organization there. Many people of Sarajevo they don't know that. Believe me. He's buried in the old Orthodox cemetery. If you go to, on the way to the Olympic Stadium, mm -hmm. 40 minutes in this direction of the walking, you will see one chapel with the Red Cross. They are buried there. Yes. Uh, many people think that Franz Ferdinand was killed on the bridge. It's a huge mistake. Huge mistake. That's why when I have many guests from China, when I say the Latin bridge, oh wow, do, 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 taking the pictures like crazy. But they don't know that he was killed right here. The name of the bridge was called by the assassin in Yugoslavia time, Prince Bridge. But the real name of the bridge is called the Latin Bridge. Why the Latin Bridge? Because the left side was a suburb of the Catholics called the Latins. Okay, that's why the Latin Bridge. Although they did try to kill Franz Ferdinand next to that bridge there with a hand grenade, they didn't succeed. He went to the city hall, hold the speech, and on the way to the Hotel Europe to have lunch, he was killed right here in this street. The first bullet, they say, shot Franz Ferdinand to the neck. 
the second bullet shot his wife to the stomach. They say Sophia was pregnant with their fourth child. Oh my gosh, the picture. I was going to say, so today is called the Latin Bridge? Today we call it again the Latin Bridge, but some people who grew up in Yugoslavia at the time, they call it Prince Bridge. Assassin jumped in the river, this river, swallowed the poison, they say. The poison didn't work for him. And on the trial, he was sentenced to the 20 years of prison.